my name is Shashi, one of the Kong developers working at Mashi. Uh, this video is to uh, demonstrate how you can use OpenVis plugin with Kong. So let's start the demonstration. Uh, for this demonstration, uh, I'm gonna use this JavaScript function. Basically, it takes two parameters, uh, name and place. So, and this is the script which I'm gonna run uh, to add the action, then add the API, and add add enable the plugin and test it. So let's just start with adding the action first. So let's see. Uh, uh, for this demonstration, I installed a Wisk CLI locally, uh, and uh, I opened a dummy account on uh, IBM Bluemix. Uh, open this platform so let's add this action first so it's added um, now we're gonna add the API on the Kong let's see Kong running now. okay so Kong is running let's start with our first command for adding the API so here we adding the API name test uh, so as you can see, uh, we added our first API named test. Now let's enable OpenVis plugin on that. So uh, as you can see, uh, we enable a OpenVis plugin on our test API. It takes few parameters like host, uh, where your action is hosted, uh, then uh, service token, uh, then uh, action name, and then path to the action. Now let's test this thing. So we got the response back. Hello, Mashi from San Francisco. San Francisco. Let's try some other name. Bob. So, hello, Bob from San Francisco. Let's. Okay, so now let's try another plugin uh, to limit the access to the API. I'm gonna try basic authentication. So, I'm adding basically enabling basic auth authentication on API test. So let's see if it's working or not. So let's now again access, try to, let's now we gonna try to access the same API again. Uh, so it's uh, unauthorized. So basically we limited uh, the access to the API, but uh, how can we access it? So let's add a consumer. So I'm adding a consumer named Mashape then we gonna give a credential which any request gonna add to get the access so here uh, i'm using the username openvisc password as password123 so i added the credential for that consumer let's now try to access that api using that credential so basically i'm passing in the authorization header uh, with the username and password in base64 encoded so yeah uh, again we have access to the api hello mashape from san francisco let's try with some random screen uh, string so it's invalid uh, so yeah uh, that's what the video was uh, to how, how you can use open disk with the Kong. Uh, you, similarly, you can use any request plugin uh, along with open uh, to extend the functionality. You, you can create your custom plugin. Uh, so for more detail, yeah, go through our website uh, getkong.org. Uh, thank you.